Senior MMTs, here's that volatility gap, short term oversold, we like Hess, it's good in its leadership. Remember on the weekly, monthly still remained overbought, that's why it had to come down, got the jobs report Friday, trading the volatility across the board, selling into it and looking how to get short over the next week again, because the overbought process is still in play here. So it's very important to make sure that across the board of the diversification, uh, what had been sold down between one day, three day, and five day period from the correction reversal that we had went through over the last couple of days together is buying the volatility band across the board. That means if you're diversified and you got 10 overnight positions, eight of them work, you're selling short at the top, you're taking profits, you had the jobs report to support that volatility gap today, knowing that the number was going to come in okay. Once again, we'll be taking a look at some of these, even though we love them. But short term, price action volatility will remain at very high levels over the summer and all of the names, everything that we've shown in the sectors and sector indices will remain the same. Long and short, price volatility with the market versus the public model. Let me buy and hold it all the way down. They get lucky. They get a gap. They don't know what's going on. They're going to ride it right back down. You keep the profit up there. Get ready to net short these things out next week and over the next six week period and long on volatility at certain one to three five day oversold conditions.